Welcome to Hunters NZ's first hunt of 2021. Before we set sail, we weighed our gear to make sure we only took the essentials. Our gear consisted of tramping pack and rain cover, tent, air bed, sleeping bag, first aid equipment, Garmin 66i, microfiber towel, pots, pans, some extra gas, cutlery, head torch with spare batteries, wet weather jacket and pants, puffer jacket, warm pants, top, and a spare pair of socks. On this hunt, we took water, backyard country meals, pasta, milk powder, porridge, cups for tea bags, cheese, crackers, grogan, noodles, muesli bark, cleaning brush, toilet paper, and plastic bags. By taking note of these weights, we look to where we can improve for next time. By splitting the food between Abby and I, my pack weighed 15 kilos going in and Abby's weighed 11. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> We're just trying to work out a track to where we want to head. Whether we bush bash through here, or we call the helicopter. <laughs> I think might need the helicopter. <laughs> After a bit of discussion, we decided to enter the Climanovers via the poles track. Just checking where we are, making sure we're on the right track. track. And uh, Mark, we'll park the ute and we'll head off. Let's go. What's the time? 7.51. Let's go. From here, Nick. Myself and Abby spent the next two and a half hours walking into the Kaimanawa Ranges. What are we? Half an hour in? Only half an hour? 45 minutes maybe. Oh dear. Best off? Yeah. <laughs> Just going to head down here to the other side of the bush, then um, sort of catch a plan to see what we see. We head around through the valley, cross over the other side to that far point, put the camp up there the night. I'm not 100% sure yet, but that's what we're thinking. The Alps Feather Light Series weighing about 1.2 pound. Lightest in the range that we have. Comes with its own pump, Milton pump. Turn off the valves. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> What'd you rate it? Oh, these are 10 out of 10. These are brilliant. You all right? No, I just think they're overrated and too expensive. Right. Well, how much does it cost? They're like 12 bucks or something. 12 dollars? Yeah, 12 to 15 bucks. Oh, that's a rip off. As opposed to those other things are 99 cents. Okay, we'll, we'll give it a taste test and rate it out of 10. Mm. It looks like chicken food. <laughs> Oh, that'd be a cup, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Mmm, that's nice. Mmm. Is that so soup? Mint, it's got a mint taste. Dinner is served. Mmm. What would you rate it out of 10? What would I rate the cottage pie out of 10? I'd have it again. Probably for the type of meal it is, it probably is a 9 or 10 out of 10. What? Were I... you eating the same thing as me? Yeah. <laughs> I would not. Your rating goes up higher when you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good, it's a good, good meal. Yeah. 
Eight out of ten. <laughs> Will I rate it eight out of ten? It? It's going down slowly. Eight or nine out of ten. <laughs> okay. Certainly a good meal I'll have again. Cool. Did I actually look all right like that? Not really. <laughs> After dinner, we set off and canvassed the valley for the next five hours, but unfortunately saw no deer. The next morning we got up early to hunt the same valley, seeing lots of sign, fresh and old. In the headwaters of the mighty little Waikato. Massive basin in here. No sign whatsoever. Heaps of sign, no deer. Today. Getting very wet on the morning hunt, we decided to light a fire and dry some clothes. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, I'm just a clothes drying rack at the moment. Milking some of Abby's favourite pets. Ooh. Why don't you just leave them on the side to dry? I was, they were on the side, but it just got a bit, bit hot down there. Mac and cheese. This is our macaroni cheese, 99 cents. I rate them about 9 out of 10, because you can't get 10 out of 10 in the bush. Probably for the type of meal it is, it probably is a 9 or 10 out of 10. You thought last night this was a 10 out of 10? <laughs> <laughs> it was disgusting. <laughs> oh, he must have been hungry. <laughs> Fresh Kaimanawa water. Might be a bit deep, but that's beautiful. On a hunt for water, we found a brilliant water source fresh out of Kaimanawa. Some of the best tasting water you could ever have in the world. Worth bottling this stuff. Beautiful water. Pay for that. After lunch, we decided to head two and a half hours deeper into the Kaimanawas to hunt some new territory. We're currently 1,444 metres in the Kai Mai. Ever seen nothing? <laughs> nothing but footprints. Could possibly go to those big rocks way up over there. After the two and a half hour trek up here, we've found a spot that looks to be quite good for spotting. We have discovered that a couple of seekers down in front of us can't quite see them but can hear them. We decided to spend the rest of the evening up here. Well guys, this is the honey hole. If you don't get a deer here, a gun's not long enough. After spending six and a half hours on the mountain, we've finally spotted a shooter. Go to while it took two minutes to take the shot, but unfortunately, Abby being six inches in front of the barrel, but five meters away from the gun, still gave her a fright and bumped it as the bullet hit home. Beautiful. Good one, man. Oh yeah. Beauty. He's a fucking snake, all right. I shot a Nick. What is it? <laughs> After about oh, 1k trekking down to the deer, 
Holy! Had a look and that is so cool. We actually oh, shot it four inches off target, due to not allowing for a slight crosswind. 628 metres is a long shot, but was a good shot. Now it's just time for a quick cut up and head back to base. Now we'll just whip off the back legs, back stakes, front legs, and take the three-hour trek back to camp. Thanks for carrying my dear. <laughs> On the last day, the weather was forecasted to pack in around lunchtime, so we head back to the first valley we hunted on the first day to see if we could see any sign of deer roaming the hills. Well, pink sky this morning, so we've got a couple hours before you get some rain, maybe three, four hours, five hours. Day three, uh, sitting here at the spot for a couple of hours and we'll uh, back up and head out. After an hour and a half of hunting this morning, we decided to head back to base, pack up our gear, and head back to the truck. Right, try man of the trip done and dusted. A big thank you to Nick for his sharp shooting skills. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment below. See you next time.